We're at a real point of change in um, how we think about research and how we do research. And so I think there's a real uh, new wave of possibilities and uh, researchers, new researchers, need to be aware of uh, what they might be able to do uh, with new tools that are becoming available. The main idea behind this new workshop series is to help researchers better utilize the internet and the web in support of their research. A digital scholar is someone who understands how to use the wealth of possibilities web-based approaches offer. And for our pilot workshop series, we will focus on a couple of different topics. What does it mean to become a successful digital scholar? We will look at a range of tools that researchers can leverage to achieve their specific research and career goals. Further topics include crowdfunding, accelerating the dissemination of research findings, and leveraging digital and social media data. When Katya told me about this idea of developing a series of workshops related to um, you know, being a digital scholar, I had never even heard of that word before, of becoming a digital scholar. And the idea completely resonated with me and I instantly knew that it could be something really, really important for the people, not only who are in our program, the TL1 and the KL2 program, but probably for anyone who's interested in expanding their research across USC, CHLA, and probably all the CTSAs. In our pilot workshop series, you will learn about concrete examples of scholars who have shown how digital and social media tools benefited their work. One great example is Melissa Terrace from London's Global University. She showed how distributing her research on social media affected how much her research was read. Margarita Mooney of the University of North Carolina is another great example. She was able to secure a grant partially because of her popular research blog. We will also look at what researchers can do to increase the citation rate of their articles. And you will learn how to use tools that help you measure the impact of these alternative approaches to scholarship. For our workshop on crowdfunding, we are excited to team up with Experiment, an innovative crowdfunding platform. Although science crowdfunding is still in its infancy, there are encouraging examples where researchers have used it to supplement their grants. And we want you to be able to do the same. In the fourth workshop, you learn how to use digital and social media data. For example, to gain insight into health-related community trends, to identify disease communities, and to enroll research participants online. For this workshop, we are delighted to partner with Simpler, a social media healthcare consultancy group. They have developed the Popular Disease Hashtag Project, and they were among the first to show the growth of disease communities on Twitter. As participants of this workshop, you will have the unique opportunity to get access to Simpler's Signal application. It's a new database that provides access to more than 500 million healthcare-related tweets and more than 180 million user profiles on Twitter. And as an add-on, for all of our participants, Simpler will offer free consultations to help you leverage this data in novel ways. Being able to use digital and social media data is a novel but very important skill for researchers especially in the context of 80% of Americans seeking health information online. This is a growing trend that provides a huge opportunity for researchers. So wh why should trainees uh, take advantage of uh, this learning opportunity that comes with this uh, workshop? Well, they need, they're in training, they're getting ready for future careers and this will be their future. Frankly, it's unlikely that their mentors are going to be equipped to tell them about these kinds of uh, approaches and uh, I would recommend that they take advantage of this unique learning opportunity uh, here given by the CTSI. Join us. We look forward to seeing you there.